I beg your pardon, bruh. I beg your pardon, bruh. Did I hear you say that? I hope something was wrong with my ears be because I could have swore. <laughs> What's going on, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, the Shoe31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on that face, neck, and chest. And man, there is so much nonsense and bullshit that's being shoved down my throat. I am not a ready to whole housewife gag machine, bro. Not today, Junior. Not today. So without further ado, let's break this bitch down and let's see what we got. Come on, man. That's garbage. So we have giant freaking robot who is more trustworthy than Amber Heard telling you that she's on the pill, saying this, Ben Affleck has been offered a staggering 30 million payday to come back to the DCEU as Batman and lead an adaptation of Crisis on Infinite Earths. Oh really? Let's dive in, shall we? Describe it as the worst... Our experience, Ben Affleck will be returning one last time to portray Batman in the upcoming Flash movie if it ever actually gets released. And then he should be done, except that our trusted and proven sources, our trustworthy sources, have been told have told us that Ben Affleck has been offered a staggering 30 million payday to come back to the DCEU as Batman to lead an adaptation of Crisis Infinite Earths. But will he? Holy shit, breaking news. You have to be an absolute moron if you don't believe this. So let's continue on, shall we? It also might help chances of Ben Affleck coming back as Batman to potentially make him the lead of the single biggest crossover event in DC Comics history. The original comic book crossover event, Crisis on Infinite Earths, began in 1985 and is still considered a high watermark for what has now become an annual tradition for both DC and Marvel Cinematic Universes. The DCEU is currently building its storylines around a multiverse concept which would logically ramp up to a Crisis-style event. They also forgot to add a movie called Three Guys, One Truth, where Eddie Diaz, Caleb, and Josh would stare at a picture of the truth and see it could last longer while they beat the little wee-wees, bro. What is this nonsense? This is bullshit. Get this out of my face. This bullshit needs to stop now. So let me get this straight. Warner Brothers, Walter Hermata, David Zaslav is going to offer... Ben Affleck, $30 million to come back as Batman, where they already have a Batman on the theatrical side, and they want to continue a final crisis working with Zack Snyder to culminate everything with every single superhero doing a final crisis movie with Zack Snyder where they canceled the Snyderverse in the first place? Does that make any sense to you? It would be more believable if Ben Affleck cast Jennifer Lopez as Catwoman. They filmed the scene on the rooftop. Ben Affleck bends Jennifer Lopez over and eats the booty like it was the cure for AIDS, bro. If that's the case, Ben Affleck, I got next, bro. Miss me with this nonsense. Miss me with this, bro. I gotta get security. I want this man out of my sight right here. Get him out of here. He's got no place in here. Get rid of him, okay? And this is what I'm talking about, bro. When you read the article, when you thoroughly read the article, they tell you everything without telling you nothing, bro. It's always my sources, my trusted sources. It's That's hilarious coming from giant freaking robot, bro. Like, come on, bro. And it's up to us, the fans, to call this shit out. I know we love Ben Affleck. I know we want the same respect. I know we want everything back. But we have to call out bullshit and nonsense when we see it, bro. Otherwise, people are going to believe this shit and people are gonna hit me up like truth what do you think about this what do you think about this do you think this is true no it's not true and you're getting people's hopes up for nothing for your own amusement and that's messed up you got me <laughs> it's nonsense bro like i'm tired of this shit bro i'm tired of, of these journalists who by the way shat on everything Zack snyder shat on everything snyderverse and these are the same people who are using your your hopes and your dreams for their own clout, for their own views, for their own clicks, and 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 it's it's sickening to, to it's sickening to see. It's dumb to watch, bro. Because when you read these articles, you're like, bro, like this is obviously bullshit. But again, you're gonna have some people who believe this shit because they love Zack Snyder and they love the Snyderverse and they want this shit to, and they want this to continue. I don't blame them. I want this shit to continue as well. But we have to we have to be smart about this. You ain't fooling nobody. You ain't fooling nobody. You ain't fooling nobody. So that's going to be it, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Discord to join the Truth Army. Share the video, like the video, be so kind. And as always, put your comments down below. Tell me what you think. They think truth.
The Snyderverse is dead. Get over it. Giant freaking robot is an absolute trustworthy source. You don't know what you're talking about. Or do you think truth? I agree. We need to call bullshit articles out when we see them. The Snyderverse will return. The air cut will come back. But we have to be patient, okay? Don't worry. Everything will be a-okay. Unless it comes from Zack Snyder himself, don't believe anything. And as always, my sexy son bitches, you guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support and love. Truth Army, strong, united as ever. And as always, truth out. Whore.